Good morning, I'm Jessica Hennick and I'm going to walk you through my skincare routine. And we're gonna do a makeup look that I do sometimes. This is my day-to-day -day cleanser that I use from Shiseido. I'm a big fan of Japanese and Korean beauty brands. I find that it works with Asian skin well in that I have kind of oily combination skin, but I, I like, a really light cleanser and this does the trick. This is like a cloud on my face right now. I'm obsessed, I've been using this for years. This is the toner I use, the Shiseido Treatment Softener. This is a skincare regime that I have honed in on in the last five years, I would say. My mum has amazing skin. And so I just, and she doesn't do anything to it. And so I thought that would be me for my life and it wasn't. And I, I kind of rejected skincare a long time. Like, well, my mom doesn't use anything and she looks great. And I, I had a real aversion to overstimulating it. And when I was 16, I got my first acting job. The makeup artist was like, no, you need to start skincare now. And she put me on this 10 step routine from a very well respected brand and it destroyed my face. I had burns all over my skin, it peeled. If you go and you look at that TV series, you'll notice they never give me close-ups because the texture was, was so bad. And that kind of sparked a uh, eight-year battle with pretty bad acne. My 111 Skin Rose Gold Face Mask. I put this on before any event or press day just because I find it really gives you that dewy, glowing look. So I'll leave this on about 20 minutes. Oh, that's good. While the face is still a tiny bit damp, I'm gonna go ahead and put my moisturizer on. After I had that really bad burn experience with the skincare regime, I decided to kind of flip to the other, other end of the spectrum and I would only use things that I found in my fridge. So I put baking soda on my face, yogurt, blueberries, lemon, honey, all amazing things. And you should probably eat them because it's gonna do more for you <laughs> internally than it will on your face. And the thing that really took me out of that cystic acne cycle was this Trilogy Certified Organic Rose Oil. I don't use this all over my face as much now. I use it as spot treatment to an extent. This is the last step in my skincare routine. This is the gua sha. I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram. I don't do the full face thing, but I just try and do this and, and kind of get that lymphatic drainage going. So I'm gonna put a little bit more moisturizer on so that there's enough glide there and I'm not tugging at the skin. Being in the public eye and suffering from acne is, I mean, I just wish that there was more transparency about it. I remember going to my first ever London Fashion Week, my first and last. I wasn't good at makeup. I'm still not good at makeup. So I didn't wear any makeup and and there's photos out there of me and my, my cheeks are covered in acne. But I remember seeing that photo in a magazine the next day and they'd photoshopped my cheeks and made me look flawless. And I have to admit, I was relieved that the facade would continue. But I also, I look back and I'm, I'm sad because if I had seen actors that I look up to in magazines with acne that wasn't photoshopped out, I think it would have made me feel less alone. I'm gonna use this oil that I have, which is, is really calming. It's called Eleven. When I'm stressed out, <laughs> I just dab a little bit of this. It's very lavender-y, a little bit of this oil. Onto the makeup. First off, I'm gonna prep my lips with this Glossier Rose Lip Balm. The first step in my makeup routine is the YSL primer. If you've never used primer before, it's just to smooth out any texture and 
For me, I kind of see it as a barrier between my, my skin and the makeup. I, I find it, I break out less. So the foundation I use is YSL's Touche Clat. This has been a struggle to find a foundation that matches my, my Asian skin and, and works with this, the kind of yellow undertones. When I was starting out, I was working with a lot of makeup artists who just didn't work on any Asian actors or actresses. And so they, they were using a lot of products which, which weren't right. So if you want to go down that Getty hole, <laughs> <laughs> you can find photos of me at early events where the makeup is terrible. It doesn't match my, my skin tone at all. The longer I've been in the industry, the more diverse it's become. And uh, there's also some amazing Asian makeup artists out there that I've worked with. I tend to use my hands and not a sponge because I'm too lazy to clean my sponges and then I know it would just make me break out. I'm also just a big fan of, of minimalism in my life. And so the fewer products needed and the fewer things to carry, the, the better it is. Concealer. I do think the industry is changing for the better. We've never had more awareness of Asian representation in cinema. And so I'm really proud to be a part of that in some small way. And yeah, I hope that it continues. When I first started acting, everyone made such a big deal on that job of, uh, of me being the first East Asian actress to be on a, the lead on a British TV series, blah, blah, blah. It kind of scared me, honestly. It felt like a lot of pressure to not take stereotypical roles, which, I mean, that's all that was available to me at the time. I went the other direction and I, I stopped taking any Asian roles out of fear of the community <laughs> turning on me. It's, it's only recently in sort of the past five or six years that I felt comfortable and realized, no, it's, it's really important that I take Asian roles and tell that story and it is such a specific story. I've had a journey with my brows. I did not like them growing up. And I still sometimes wake up and go, why can't you be more normal? But I'm trying to practice self-acceptance. <laughs> so what I'm gonna to do today is just use this Glossier, the boy brow, just to brush it up a little bit and keep it in place. So I don't have to worry about it. This is the Glossier Sky Wash. A big part of my skincare journey was learning how much lifestyle plays a part in it. I had to kind of analyze my face and, and realize what was triggering each section. And so hormonally, it was always going to be my chin. And if my, my forehead was breaking out, then I usually had had too much dairy. And so cutting, cutting dairy way down really cleaned up my forehead. Besides adjusting my, my diet, uh, and drinking way more water. Exercise really, really helped for me. Thankfully, I've done a lot of roles <laughs> which have forced me to exercise because I don't actually enjoy it that much. When we shut down for COVID during The Matrix, we didn't know if we were gonna go back. Of course, I hated that idea. I wanted to complete the story and I'd like, I just shaved off my hair and I, I was so down and I'd been training, I, I was ready to go. So when we shut down and none of us knew we were gonna go back, the only thing that got me through it was just exercising every single day and training as if I had that target ready, as if I knew I was gonna go back and film. Glossier Lash Slick. Blush. Glossier Cloud Paint. Again, you can't go wrong with this and finger application is best because it is a liquid. I try not to wear makeup on most days because I have to wear so much for work that when I'm off work, I just, I just want my skin to breathe and heal. Lips, just this YSL lipstick. The color's pretty cute. I do a soft edge. My mom, because she has no skincare routine and doesn't really wear makeup, always said to me over and over, 
embrace your natural beauty and, and uh, try and be as minimalistic as possible. And even though I do love seeing makeup, I, I think it's like art sometimes, the amazing you know, eyeshadows and eyeliners and colored mascaras, like, I think it's really cool. But I, I love it when I see people without you know, foundation and you can see freckles and, and their skin texture and uh, what their natural eyebrow color is. Like I, I, I like uh, celebrating our differences. I don't think it's that healthy to compare yourself to others. I, I think you should really embrace your own skin journey and, and your own makeup style and, and see what works for you. Okay, I have to go to work. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you around. Bye.